What's up, ladies and gents? I know I'm really spamming your timeline a little bit here, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put this out here. This is something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, I wanted to discuss sort of Halloween hangovers, you know, horror hangovers in some ways. As a person who loves horror movies, like I do, like many of us do here on YouTube, like probably you guys do for watching my channel, let's be honest, most of my content uh, sort of skews towards horror movies. As somebody who loves horror movies, we of course want to start, probably about early to mid-September, watching pretty much nothing but horror. And you start that maybe September 15th, let's say. Just something like that. Maybe even September 1st. I don't know. You go all the way through to October 31st. Do you guys get burnt out? That's my question. This is kind of going to be a discussion video. And that's probably what I'm going to title this. Halloween Hangovers Discussion. And please do response videos. I know that's not really a thing on YouTube but anymore, but... You know, just put re in the title and then this one. Uh, anyway, so do you get Halloween hangovers? Do you start to feel like, I just can't watch another horror movie? Because I'm almost there at this point. Um, I'm still excited to watch, you know, some spooky stuff on Halloween Eve. I still want to finish up my Tales from the Dark Side uh, at least the first season before the end of uh, uh, October here. Still want to watch the stuff I haven't watched. And there's a few things that I'm still interested in watching up until the 31st of this year, uh, or of this month. But afterwards, I know for certain, I'm probably not going to watch another horror movie for another probably at least 20 days. Maybe 25. You know, at least until Thanksgiving, I don't think I'm going to be doing much horror stuff. Like, maybe a little bit, but there will never be a day where I'm just going to sit down and watch exclusively horror things, you know, like I'm doing today and uh, stuff like that. But having said that, having said that I'm not going to uh to watch it doesn't means it doesn't mean that I dislike horror it's that I get burnt out a little bit because honestly more than just being a movie a horror movie fan I'm a movie fan I like film um I love this glorious thing uh that we call film and honestly November always seems to be the month where I go, okay, let's go about as far away from horror as we can get. You know, let's let's go back to some classics. Let's explore some stuff I've never seen before. Let's watch some James Bond movies. Let's uh, watch some Planet of the Apes. A little bit horror, but, you know, not 100%. Let, let's watch some of that stuff. Let's, let's go back in the day and find some stuff that's, you know, maybe I haven't watched or some stuff I have watched that you know, is just kind of on that opposite end of horror. You know, I'm a big Frank Capra fan. Frank Capra is actually my favorite director. And so, of course, I'm going to go back, you know, probably the 1st of November is probably going to be largely Frank Capra oriented. And then it's going to go on and I'm probably going to find some you know, I've recently found out my library, my local library, has uh, some classic films um, from the Criterion Collection that I can just rent out for free. So it's kind of going to be like a video store, which is going to be pretty cool. But I've got that going on. But also, you know, I still kind of have this want for horror movies. And it's not that I'm never gonna watch them again. It's just that I gotta, I have to take a break after Halloween. You know, you just watch so much of, and I don't want to see the same thing. You don't want to, I don't want to say you watch all the same thing because it's not the same thing over and over again. You know, horror movies are much more varied than people give them credit for. But honestly, I don't know. I feel kind of like 
I just get a hangover after afterwards, and I don't want to watch horror for a while. The dregs. But, ladies and gents, if you just want to comment down below or shoot me a response or something at some point, I'd really appreciate it because I want to see if other people go through this. And what do you watch once you're done with, you know, horror month and a half, you know? Once Halloween's over, what do you watch? Because I was just thinking about this. I've I've been planning kind of what November's going to be like, you know, sort of ahead of time. And I was just like, man, I, I'm not going to be watching much horror, but let's look at, like, what are my favorite directors? So I'm thinking, you know... Of course, Frank Capra. So I'm going to be watching some Frank Capra movies. Specifically, I'm thinking in November, I might watch, like, uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Uh, great movie to watch around elections. Uh, but let's uh, let's leave that aside. Uh, and then my uh, one of my other favorite directors, Alfred Hitchcock, which, you know, of course, he's got kind of a horror bent to him. But not everything he did was horror. A lot of stuff that he did was much more in the vein of suspense than it was horror. So you've got that going on. And then you've got uh, John Carpenter, one of the masters of horror, you know, sort of the modern masters of horror. And I'm in the mood, almost at this point, I'm, I'm more in the mood to watch something like Big Trouble in Little China than I am to watch Halloween, just about there. I mean, I'm still probably going to watch Halloween on Halloween. Who's not? But... I'm I'm almost to the point where I'm like, Escape from New York is looking pretty good right now, you know? Uh, he did make some great genre pictures that weren't horror. Um, and then, you know, I'm thinking Quentin Tarantino, you know, he's kind of influenced by some of the horror stuff. He's even made a couple that kind of skirt on the line of horror. But, you know, I'm wanting to maybe go back and watch some old Tarantino pictures. and uh, Maybe um, another one. I was just thinking about this the other day. Who's like my number five favorite director? Those would probably be my first four. Um, and those are pretty solid. I was thinking, oh, would it be Spielberg, Scorsese, um, one of the other horror guys? But honestly, I figured out it might just be Mel Brooks, and I've got a stack of Mel Brooks movies here that I'm really looking forward to revisiting at some point, maybe even doing a review series on in November. So, what I'm trying to say is November's kind of the my hangover cure, you know? So I'll, uh, instead of, instead of watching horror movies just to get back into them and maybe eventually I'll keep watching them and I'll be like, okay, I'm back into it. No, I'd rather take a break and find something different to watch. And so that's, uh, that's what I'm probably going to do in November. But yeah, guys, please, please tell me, what do you think? Uh, do you get kind of a horror horror fatigue, horror hangover, Halloween hangover after Halloween because I'm, I pretty much at this point, I'm very close to being done with horror movies for a while. Uh, I mean, of course, I mean, the Christmas horror movies are going to be coming up and, you know, first of December, I'm probably going to be like, okay, let's watch, uh, let's watch Christmas Evil or something like that. Uh, let's watch Black Christmas. But, you know, besides that, I mean, pretty much the whole month of November just feels like it's going to be my hangover cure for horror. So, I don't know what you guys think, but definitely comment down below. Maybe even shoot a response video, something like that. But I appreciate you watching. I know this is kind of going to be out of the vein of the movies that I'm going to be watching today. So, uh, and the videos I'm going to be shooting today. So, but yeah, just, it's something that I was thinking about and I wanted to see what you guys thought. So... Here are the dregs. This is the last of that mm, meh coffee. Couldn't I couldn't get it so that you could see it. Let's see if we can... Yeah. That's the last of it. It's cold at this point. You know, I'm just going to shoot it back. <sighs> Very small one. Rock on, guys. If you like to subscribe, talk to you later. Thank you for watching this video. Please give me some responses here. Bye-bye.